Online Transactional Processing, or OLTP, databases are tailored for handling high volumes of transactions efficiently. For instance, think of Wall Street trading or a retail giant like Walmart, with countless point-of-sale endpoints and transactioning happening simultaneously. OLTP databases excel in processing large quantities of data rapidly. The architecture of these databases is optimized for quick record processing. In them, data is organized in a way that minimizes duplication. Instead of storing repetitive information for each transaction, the focus is on storing unique identifiers. For example, rather than recalling a lengthy product description for every purchase, a simple and efficient product ID is referenced and used. By eliminating redundancy, OLTP databases enhance performance and facilitate a speedy data retrieval. In the world of data analytics, it's not unusual to come across companies that rely on operational data systems for their analytical needs. But using an OLTP system as a platform for analytics comes with its share of challenges, inefficiencies, and limitations. One of the primary drawbacks is the hefty premium companies have to pay to run on analytics on a traditional OLTP system. They often lack scalability due to their nature as an input-output system, leading to limitations handling large and complex analytical operations. In simple terms, they're horribly inefficient at performing those tasks. Additionally, using production systems for reporting can pose a risk to the application stability. The performance may suffer when large reports or dashboards are accessed during peak times, impacting the usability of the system. To overcome these challenges, some companies resort to creating a secondary OLTP environment just for reporting, which adds complexity to the analytics process because you need to replicate data between them. On the other hand are OLAP databases, or online analytical processing. They're designed to handle extensive analytical operations. These databases aren't really concerned with individual transactional records. Instead, the objective is to obtain insights through broad analysis and aggregation of data. Examples of queries include analyzing store sales by salesperson, store, or top-selling products. OLAP databases serve as a powerhouse for organizations when it comes to measuring success and gaining a comprehensive understanding of business metrics. They provide a platform for slicing and dicing and analyzing data in a broader way and a more detailed way, allowing businesses to explore key performance indicators, such as quarter-over-quarter -quarter growth at the store level. OLAP systems adopt a column-oriented approach, where data is read and processed based on columns rather than rows. The columnar structure is particularly advantageous for performing aggregations and analytical operations efficiently. To visualize the distinction, imagine how data is stored in both types of databases. OLTP are often referred to as record-based stores, since they focus on storing individual transactional records. These databases prioritize fast writing and are optimized for handling high-performance, single-record inserts or reads. On the other hand, OLAP databases are known as column-based stores because they read data by column, aligning with the typical analytical requirements. Instead of prioritizing individual record processing, OLAP systems excel at tallying and aggregating data for analytical purposes. Unlike OLTP systems that cater to a large number of users, OLAP databases typically have a smaller user base. These users are often teams of analysts or groups that utilize dashboards tailored to specific use cases. These dashboards enable them to dive deep into the data, extracting valuable insights for decision making. You can imagine in an OLTP system, you might want to look up a record for a sale and get all of the data associated with that sale. But in an analytical system, you might want to know what were the total sales over a period of time. In that case, you'd be focused on specific columns. At this point, you might wonder whether companies will have both OLTP and OLAP databases containing the same data. And the answer is yes, and it's not uncommon to find some overlap between the two platforms. But there's going to be key differences in what's stored in them. OLAP systems typically retain historical data for long periods of time, often spanning years or decades. In contrast, OLTP databases prioritize the most recent transactional data. In practice, transactional databases serve as sources for the OLAP systems. Data generated in an OLTP environment is extracted and loaded into the OLAP database, where it can be joined with additional data sets and other transactional systems. This integration allows businesses to do things like measure marketing campaign effectiveness by attributing sales to different marketing campaigns, and it allows them to have a plan for future optimization. Understanding the differences between these two types of databases is crucial when choosing the right solution for specific workloads. 
Whether you need to process real-time transactions or conduct in-depth data analysis, knowing the strengths and focuses of each database type will empower you to make informed decisions in getting your platform set up and managing your data effectively.